Hello everyone, it's Kik here and in today's episode you can expect the following. Chinese scientists are hot on the heels of Elon Musk with their own brain computer implant. Scientists from Brown University have bypassed the protective filters of GPT-4. A Canadian blogger has created a handleless umbrella drone. The Starlab space station, developed by Starlab Space and Russian cosmonauts, who are going to space on Crew Dragon. All this and much more right now, let's go! We'll start today's episode with Chinese scientists who are stepping up to challenge Elon Musk presenting their own breakthrough in neurotechnology. They have developed and implanted a unique wireless brain-computer interface in a human head, as reported by South China Morning Post. This is not just a chip, it's a revolution in the way data is exchanged between the brain and an external device. The Chinese scientists worked on this neuro interface named Neural Electronic Opportunity (NEO) for a whole 10 years. Their efforts were crowned with success. The first owner of NEO became a man with limb paralysis. Who had the chip implanted on October 24th, 2023. This neuro implant returned the man's ability to control his arms, to move them again, and to grip and release objects. However, he needs to wear special prosthetics connected to the neuro interface. The Chinese implant is often compared with Elon Musk's Neuralink, but it has its own unique feature. It is installed not in neural tissue, but in the epidural space of the skull, making the procedure less aggressive and safer for patients. Interestingly, the chip is the size of two coins and does not require built-in batteries. It is powered remotely through a near-field wireless network and high-frequency antenna. Brown University scientists have found a way to bypass the protective filters of GPT-4, responsible for blocking unsafe content. Their method involved translating queries into rarely used languages using Google Translate and then back into English. Experiments showed that this approach allows bypassing filters in 79% of cases when using Zulu, Scottish Gaelic, Hmong, and Guarani. At the same time, similar queries in English were blocked in 99% of cases. The scientists paid special attention to the fact that languages with limited resources are used by about 1.2 billion people, making this vulnerability particularly significant. They suggest that the problem may be related both to the model itself and to the quality of translation. The register emphasizes that the model's ability to bypass its own safety filters is a troubling fact. Now let's move on to our favorite tech maniacs. A Canadian blogger from the YouTube channel I Build Stuff created something incredible. A wireless, handleless umbrella. Essentially, it's a flying umbrella drone controlled by a remote. For this unique project, the blogger used a regular umbrella, a flight controller, GPS module, soldering iron, metal tubes, motors, and of course, a 3D printer to print the drone's body. After assembling all the components purchased from Amazon, the blogger attached the umbrella hat to the drone, turning it into an umbrella quadcopter. So far, this prototype can only fly via remote commands and cannot autonomously follow the user. But don't worry, a second version is already being prepared with special sensors that will track the user's heat and control the umbrella automatically. The blogger has not yet disclosed how much it costs to create this wonder umbrella. However, if the experiment is successful, he plans to launch his invention on crowdfunding platforms. It should be noted that the umbrella has a couple of drawbacks. It cannot be folded for convenience, and it is unclear how it will behave in strong winds. Our old friend, Zach Nelson, author of the popular YouTube channel Jerry Rig Everything, once again delighted tech fans with his experiments. This time, he set out to test the durability of the display of the new Galaxy S24 Ultra smartphone from Samsung, equipped with Corning Gorilla Armor Glass. Samsung confidently calls it the most scratch-resistant, and it seems they are not wrong. During the tests, Zach used tools of different hardness. Only a tool with a hardness of 7 on the Mohs scale managed to leave barely noticeable scratches on the screen, which became more visible when using a tool with a hardness of 8. Zach noted that usually he sees how the tool leaves cracks or grooves on the glass surface, but in the case of the S24 Ultra, only lines were visible, which cannot be erased. This is impressive, especially when compared to previous tests of the same iPhone 15 Pro Max and Samsung S23 Ultra, which began to show deeper scratches already when using a tool with a 7th level of hardness. This indicates that the S24 Ultra is a step ahead in terms of resistance to micro scratches. Let's not forget about the other features of the S24 Ultra, including including an anti-glare coating, which provides excellent screen visibility even on a bright sunny day. It seems that Samsung has really raised the bar in terms of the durability and resilience of a smartphone screen. Now let's take to the skies. Archer Company has completed the first phase of flight testing of its Midnight Air Taxi. This promising electric aircraft seems to be poised to revolutionize our concept of urban flights, having passed tests in unmanned mode. If everything goes according to plan, flights with a crew will start by the end of 2024. And by 2025, the company hopes to obtain model certification and launch it into commercial operation. Analysts, it seems, are divided in their opinions, giving the company's chances of success only 50%. But at Archer, they are apparently optimists, as they are already preparing for certification 
certification tests under the Federal Aviation Administration's FAA program. These preliminary tests will prepare the air taxi for a critical flight worthiness examination, without which commercial launch is out of the question. According to the video published by the company, the Midnight Air Taxi is already impressive in its capabilities. During the first phase of testing, the aircraft successfully took off, landed, and performed simple maneuvers. However, the most grandiose part, transitioning to horizontal flight with a rotation of the rotors on the leading edge of the wings, is yet to be tested. If everything goes smoothly, Archer's Midnight Air Taxi promises to revolutionize short urban flights with a range of 30 to 80 km. On a full charge, the aircraft can cover up to 160 km at speeds of up to 241 km h, accommodating up to four passengers on board. Archer seems ready to be one of the pioneers in the exciting air taxi race. And what's kick without space? Actually, get ready for a space marathon, because today we have three news items from the world of space technologies. The first is about the private space station Starlab, which is about to be sent into orbit on a Starship rocket from SpaceX. This station, imagine, will become a replacement for the ISS by the end of this decade. Companies SpaceX and Starlab Space, Voyager Space, and Airbus have decided to join forces. And who else but SpaceX with their gigantic Starship rocket can send a whole space station into orbit? It seems that in the era of private space technology, NASA NASA has decided to pass the baton and switch to using private orbital stations. Starlab Space has already ordered a Starship launch from SpaceX, although they preferred to remain silent about the cost of the contract. According to the plan, Starlab will embark on its journey in 2028 and become home for a permanent crew of four people, as well as a place for research in microgravity conditions. Especially interesting is that this project is also a test for Starship, which so far is famous for its explosions but promises to become the greatest transport for space missions. Considering that the modules of Starlab will be twice as as large as those of the ISS, the choice of rocket was not accidental. Dylan Taylor from Voyager is confident that launching the entire station at once is the best way to reduce risk. Here's another story that, unfortunately, may not have a happy ending. The slim landing module belonging to the Japanese space agency JAXA is about to become the sleeping beauty of the moon. The latest news reports that on the night of January 31st to February 1st, it stopped communicating after transmitting photos of the sunset on the moon. The story of slim is like a fairy tale with an unknown ending. The module slept for 14 Earth days due to the lack of solar energy and now may never wake up, as it is not designed to withstand lunar cryogenic night temperatures. JAXA, of course, promises to try to establish communication in two weeks, but the chances of success are slim. Let's remember how it all started. The slim module softly landed on the moon on January 20th, confirming Japan's status as one of the chosen space powers. But this success was overshadowed by a small tragedy. The failure of one of the engines gave the module too much lateral velocity, and it tumbled head over heels. In this position, the solar panels were in the shade, and the module lost its charge. Fortunately, a few days later, the sun finally illuminated them, and for a short time, slim was able to turn on its scientific equipment, transmitting valuable data about the mineral composition of the lunar surface to Earth. And now, after transmitting the last twilight images, the module fell asleep. If it can wake up with the onset of the lunar dawn in mid-February, it will be a real miracle. But scientists, it seems, are not too hopeful. As part of a unique cooperation program between the space agencies Roscosmos and NASA, two Russian cosmonauts have been selected to participate in upcoming missions to the ISS aboard Crew Dragon spacecraft. In these missions, scheduled for February and August 2024, Alexander Grebenkin and Alexander Gorbanov will set off into space. According to agreements signed in July 2022 and extended until 2025, Russian cosmonauts will participate in flights on American Crew Dragon spacecraft, while astronauts from the USA will fly on Russian Soyuz MS spacecraft. Apparently, NASA astronauts will have to master the art of cozy space travel in more compact conditions. The first flight as part of Crew 8, scheduled for February 22, 2024, will be the debut for Russian cosmonaut Alexander Grebenkin. He will join three NASA astronauts, Matthew Dominic, Michael Barrett, and Jeanette Epps, on their way to the ISS, where he will serve as a specialist. Alexander Gorbanov, in turn, will be part of the Crew 9 mission, embarking on a space journey in August 2024. That's all for today, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to not miss a fresh portion of handpicked news. Goodbye!